The Cigarette The war had been going on for two years. We were used to it. I was growing up, and I even had friends older than me. Yesterday, on the news, they said we destroyed 13 Iraqi planes. Right after, on the BBC, I heard that in fact, that in fact, the Iraqis had shot down two of ours. It's perfectly clear. Every day they will tell us that we've destroyed ten planes and five tanks. If you start from the beginning of the war, that makes 6,000 planes and 30,000 tanks destroyed. Even the Americans don't have an army this big. I get it. I'm going to tell my dad that one. Huh? Bring. Hey, there's the bell. Don't you have class? No, we've got physical education, but we're not going. We're going for burgers. Burgers? They also have hot dogs. All you needed was some money. Yeah, at Kansas on Jordan Avenue. Look. Oh, excuse me. Don't look at me like that. We'll climb the wall. The wall? <laughs> If I wanted to be friends with 14-year-olds, I had to do it. I wasn't chicken, so I followed him. I had already broken the rules once by going to the demonstration in 79. This was the second time. Jordan Avenue was where the teenagers from North Tehran, the nice neighborhoods, hunt, hung out. Excuse me. Kansas was its temple. If some public places had survived the regime's repression, either it was to leave us a little free space, or else it was out of ignorance. Personally, the latter theory sounded more likely. They probably had it the slightest idea what Kansas was. Did you see his hair? Just like Rod Stewart. Yeah, if he gets caught, he'll get a buzz cut. In spite of everything, kids were trying to look up even under risk of arrest. My friends weren't actually that interested in the hamburgers. We let the boys know that they could follow us by a few signs. Follow the others, I mean. I was too young to interest them. The sirens went off. What the hell are you doing? Hit the dirt! We had been told that if we were in the street during a bombing, we should lie down in the gutter for safety. Ha! You chicken! The wonderful day was spoiled by my mom. So how was school? Okay. Why? You dare to lie straight to my face? I'm not lying. So maybe it's me who cut class? What class? You tell me the truth right now or else you're punished. You'll be punished twice. My mother used the same taxi, taxi, tactics excuse me, as the tortures. But all I had was religion class. I don't give a damn. You don't cut class. And you just lied again. The whole school called and said, You had grammar this afternoon. I had said religion to try to make my mother less angry, but it hadn't worked. This time I covered for you, but it's the last time. Now is the time for learning. You have your whole life to have fun. What are you going to be when you grow up? In this country, you have to know everything better than anyone else if you're going to survive. Didn't you meet Dad when you were 14? You're not 14. So? I'm 12. Dictator, you are the guardian of the revolution of this house. Somewhat later, the Iranian army has retaken Khoraj Mahar for the fourth time this month. Even if it's true, what difference does it make to us? Maybe I go to the basement. May I go to the basement, ma'am? Yes, Miss Satrapi. The basement was my hideaway. Click. As it turned out, they did retake Khorasmahar. We all thought that the war would finally end. In fact, Iraq proposed a settlement 
and Saudi Arabia was willing to pay for reconstruction to restore peace to the area. But our government was against it. They declared, we refuse this imposed peace. We shall conquer Karbala. A, sh a shite holy city in Iraq. I am so sorry if I keep pronouncing that word wrong. So he plunged deeper into war. The walls were suddenly covered with belligerent slogans. The one that struck me most by its, glor by its gory imagery was, quote, To die a martyr is to inject blood into the veins of society. They eventually admitted that the survival of the regime depended on the war. When I think when I think we could have avoided it all, it just makes me sick. A million people would still be alive. Naturally, the regime became more repressive. In the name of that war, they exterminated the enemy within. Those who opposed the regime were systematically arrested and executed together. As for me, I sealed my act of rebellion against my mother's dictatorship by smoking the cigarette I'd stolen from my uncle two weeks earlier. <coughs> that was awful. But this, but this was not the moment to give in. With this first cigarette, I kissed my childhood goodbye. Now, I was a grown-up.